Picture this, a dimly lit room, the soft hum of a projector, and the silver screen flickering to life. In that cinematic haze, one face emerges, leaving an indelible mark on the audience's memory. Jean Seberg, a name that triggers a cascade of recollections, a timeless icon etched in the collective consciousness. Whether it's the arresting gaze in Breathless or the effortless grace in Bonjour Tristesse, Seberg's presence on screen was magnetic. But let's rewind back to the beginning when you first encountered this enigmatic figure. Perhaps it was a lazy Sunday afternoon, and you stumbled upon an old classic playing on TV. Or maybe it was a film class where Seberg's name echoed through the lecture hall. There's a certain nostalgia attached to that moment, an instant recognition of a talent that transcends eras. Do you recall the first film that introduced you to Seberg? The subtle emotions stirred, the cinematic chords struck. Those are the threads we unravel as we delve into the intriguing tapestry of Gene Seberg's life. Now, let's set the stage for the revelations that follow, those random, fascinating tidbits that make you see Seberg in a new light. Did you know about her activism or the controversies that swirled around her? Brace yourself for a journey beyond the screen, into the intricacies of a woman who was more than just a captivating actress. Get ready to navigate the labyrinth of Jean Seberg's life, where each twist and turn unveils a facet you never knew. So, without further ado, let's explore the essence of this cinematic luminary, Jean Seberg, a name that lingers in the corridors of film history. And now, the stage is set, the lights dimmed, and the narrative poised to unfold. Welcome to the world of Jean Seberg, where reality and real seamlessly intertwine. In the smoky realm of cinematic legends, Jean Seberg stands as a unique enigma, her life a tapestry woven with both brilliance and tragedy. Born on November 13, 1938, in Marshalltown, Iowa, Seberg's journey from the cornfields of the Midwest to the glitzy lights of Hollywood is a tale that transcends the silver screen. Jean's foray into acting was a mere dalliance with fame. It was a cosmic collision of talent and opportunity. At just 17, she catapulted into international stardom with her role as Patricia Francini in Jean-Luc Goddard's groundbreaking French new wave film, Breathless. The camera adored her, capturing a raw, unfiltered beauty that echoed the film's revolutionary spirit. This iconic performance not only shaped Seberg's career, but also left an indelible mark on the landscape of cinema. Beyond her cinematic prowess, Seberg was a woman of unwavering convictions. A fervent supporter of civil rights, she used her platform to champion the cause. In the tumultuous 1960s, Seberg's involvement with the Black Panther Party drew both admiration and scorn. Her dedication to the movement, however, took a toll on her personal life. Unbeknownst to many, the FBI subjected her to relentless surveillance, a haunting intrusion that contributed to her mental health struggles. While Seberg faced the harsh winds of controversy, her career continued to blossom. From Hollywood to European cinema, she demonstrated a versatility that transcended geographical boundaries. Her work in Otto Preminger's St. Joan showcased a depth that belied her age, proving that Seberg was more than a fleeting news of the French New Wave. As the years unfolded, so did Seberg's personal trials. The harsh scrutiny and invasive surveillance chipped away at her spirit, leaving behind scars that no accolade could heal. Tragically, on September 8, 1979, Jean Seberg's life came to a premature end, shrouded in mystery and melancholy. Her legacy, however, lives own a testament to her resilience and the enduring impact of her art. In the ephemeral world of cinema, where tales are woven and forgotten, Jean Seberg's story lingers a narrative of brilliance, activism, and the poignant complexities of a life under the spotlight. Jean Seberg, a captivating actress known for her roles in iconic films, shared a unique connection with her leading men. Among them, Jean Paul Belmondo stood out as the only one to attend her funeral. Their on-screen chemistry transcended into a genuine camaraderie, highlighting the impact Seberg had on those she worked with. During the filming of Macho Callahan in 1970, Seberg encountered Carlos Navarra, who would later become the father of her daughter. The picturesque setting of Durango, Mexico, set the stage for a personal connection that would endure beyond the film set. This unexpected twist in Seberg's personal life added a layer of complexity to her narrative. Seberg's admiration for Marlon Brando, dating back to her teenage years, further shaped her journey in Hollywood. Witnessing Brando's screen debut in The Men in 1950 left a lasting impression on her. 
In an audacious move, Seberg wrote to Brando, inviting him to her parents' home in Iowa. Although the invitation wasn't realized immediately, their paths crossed years later. Brando, remembering the invitation, asked her to renew it, marking a fascinating chapter in Seberg's starstruck teenage dreams turned reality. In the tapestry of Jean Seberg's life, these encounters with leading men and influential figures offer a glimpse into the intricate web of relationships that defined her personal and professional journey. From the silver screen to real-life connections, Seberg's story is one of captivating intersections. In 1970, Jean Seberg, renowned actress and activist, found herself entangled in a web of controversy that would cast a long shadow over her life. The FBI, noting her association with the Black Panther Party, spread a rumor suggesting her pregnancy by Raymond Masai Hewitt, a leader within the movement. Seberg initially claimed Romain Gary as the father, but after the tragic death of the child, she revealed the true father to be a student revolutionary named Carlos Navarro. This revelation, coupled with the loss, possibly contributed to her enduring battle with depression, culminating in her decision to take her own life in 1979. Seberg's life was marked by peaks and valleys, with one notable high being her portrayal of Joan of Arc. Out of a staggering 18,000 aspirants, Otto Preminger selected her for the iconic role, a testament to her acting prowess. However, such triumphs were counterbalanced by missed opportunities. She was initially considered for key roles in Fahrenheit 451 and Dr. Javado, but the parts eventually went to Julie Christie. Life's vicissitudes continued to shape Seberg's journey until its tragic end. Jean Seberg's story is one of Hollywood glamour, political entanglements, and personal struggles, a narrative that unfolded against the backdrop of a turbulent era. Her choices, both on and off the screen, left an indelible mark on her legacy, reminding us that even the brightest stars can be dimmed by the complexities of life. The enigmatic life of Jean Seberg, unraveling the mystery of her untimely death, Jean Seberg, the iconic actress known for her roles in classic films, also had a life marked by intrigue and personal struggles. One notable episode was her courageous act of addressing drug addiction head-on. On February 27, 1978, she penned and published an open letter in the daily paper Liberation, reaching out to drug addicts. Seberg's frankness and concern for those battling addiction showcased a side of her beyond the silver screen. However, it was the complexities of her personal life that often overshadowed her professional achievements. During the filming of Paint Your Wagon in 1969, Seberg found herself entangled in a tumultuous affair with Clint Eastwood. Unbeknownst to her, Eastwood was simultaneously involved in a two-year liaison with Danielle Cuthead, an extra on the movie. The aftermath of Eastwood's abrupt departure left Seberg traumatized, highlighting the turbulent nature of Hollywood relationships. The climax of Seberg's life occurred on August 29, 1979 when she and Ahmed Hasni attended a screening of Womanlight. The events that followed, leading to the discovery of her lifeless body in the backseat of her car on September 8th, remain shrouded in mystery. The autopsy indicated a fatal overdose of barbiturates, coupled with an alarming level of alcohol that would have rendered her incapable of driving. The police suspected foul play, suggesting her body might have been moved posthumously, but conclusive evidence eluded investigators. The initial ruling of probable suicide persisted, and even a re-examination in June 1980 failed to offer conclusive answers. The circumstances surrounding Jean Seberg's death remain an enigma, casting a shadow over the final chapter of her life. In the realm of Hollywood glamour and fame, Jean Seberg's story is a stark reminder that behind the celluloid curtain, real-life dramas often unfold, leaving behind unanswered questions that endure through time. As our exploration into the cinematic legacy of Jean Seberg draws to a close, I invite you, dear reader, to embark on a personal journey through the tapestry of your memories woven with the indelible threads of her performances. The silver screen has been graced by Seberg's enigmatic presence, leaving an enduring imprint on the fabric of entertainment. Reflect for a moment on the emotions stirred by her portrayals, the characters she brought to life with a nuanced grace that transcended mere acting. 
Perhaps you find yourself lost in the labyrinth of Breathless, captivated by the rebellious spirit she breathed into her roles. Or maybe it's the poignant notes struck in Bonjour Tristesse that resonate with the chords of your own experiences. In this shared voyage through the corridors of time, let your thoughts unfurl like the scenes from her films. What is it about Jean Seberg that etches her into the recesses of your cinematic soul? Was it her magnetic gaze, the way she inhabited her characters, or the untamed spirit she brought to the silver screen? As the curtains fall on our homage to this cinematic luminary, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts. Your reflections contribute to the collective narrative, shaping a mosaic of appreciation for a talent that has left an indelible mark on the world of film. In the grand tapestry of entertainment, Jean Seberg stands as a luminary whose brilliance continues to illuminate the cinematic landscape. Thank you for embarking on this reflective journey with us, honoring a star whose light refuses to dim. Appreciatively, 